take a look at the topic prospects of agricultural mechanization. Now in the USA, only about 3% of the population are farmers, yet they're able to meet to a reasonable extent the food needs of the country. The massive production rate is made possible by the use of sophisticated farming machines and techniques. Now, a majority of farmers in Nigeria still make use of crude farming tools and obsolete techniques of farming. In fact, the mechanization rate in Nigeria is 0.027 horsepower per hectare. This is far below the Food and Agricultural Organization's recommended rate of 1.5 hectare um, horsepower per hectare. Now, agricultural mechanization aims at improving agricultural operations and productivity. The future of farm mechanization in West Africa is bright and will be more if the following measures are adopted. This leads us to our topic, the prospects of agricultural mechanization in Nigeria. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to state the reasons why agriculture has not been fully mechanized in West Africa. And you should also be ex able to explain the possible ways of improving agricultural mechanization. Let's look at some definitions. What is mechanization? Now, this is the process of changing from working largely or exclusively by hand or with animals to doing that work with machinery. Now, what is farm mechanization? That's another definition we need to look at. This has to do with the application of engineering principles and technology in agricultural production, including storage and processing. Let's look at the reasons why agriculture has not been fully mechanized in West Africa. So there are reasons why agriculture has not been fully mechanized in West Africa, and these are some of the reasons. The first we have is small farm holdings does not permit mechanization. So we know that in Africa, the farmers usually have small sized farmlands, and this does not permit mechanization or the use of machines on such size of farmland. The farming system practice also does not permit mechanization. Farming system has to do with the type of agricultural practice they're actually carrying out. Is it mixed cropping? Multiple cropping? These farming systems do not encourage mechanization. Because for you to actually make use of machines, you have to particularly plant a single crop or a sole crop on a large scale. So this farming system does not encourage or permit mechanization. And the machines are also expensive to purchase. So this is another reason why, why agriculture in West Africa has not been fully mechanized because of the cost of, our, of these farm machines and implements. Also hiring cost is also a challenge. The cost or the amount paid to hire these farm machines, even if the farmers can't afford to buy the machines or the tractors or the machines, and they need to hire these machines the cost to also hire these machines on the high side. And these farmers are poor and they're not able to afford to pay for the cost of hiring these machines. Also, the maintenance cost of these machines is high. So even if they buy these machines to maintain them, it's also a challenge. So, so the cost of maintaining these machines is on the high side. And this also makes mechanization on agriculture in West Africa not possible. The technical know-how about these machineries, that's the knowledge needed to operate these machines or to repair and maintain them, is also not there, it's at a low level. So that's another reason why agriculture has not been fully mechanized in West Africa. There's inadequate extension services or education for farmers. Now extension service has to do with the transfer of information from research institutes to the farmers, educating them on modern methods of farming or modern farming techniques or machines that can help to increase their level of productivity or enhance efficiency in their farming practices. Now, this, if the farmers are not aware of new technology or new farming systems or techniques, they will not be able to imbibe or actualize the usage of such techniques or machines. So that's another reason why agriculture has not been fully mechanized in 
West Africa. And poor market structure or systems also discourages farmers to produce from producing on a large scale. Now, if these farmers produce eventually produce on a large scale and they're not able to sell their farm produce, this could also discourage them. So this is another problem why agriculture has not been fully mechanized in West Africa. Now, what are the ways of improving agriculture? What are the possible ways by which agriculture can be improved through mechanization? Of course, mechanization, you know, has to do with the application of engineering principles to farming, to agriculture, including storage and transportation and so on. So what are the ways by which we can improve agriculture through mechanization? That's production of our crops, rearing of our animals. How can we improve agriculture through mechanization? The first we have there is that farmers should be educated to accept modern systems of farming. Farmers should leave obsolete means of farming. They need to know modern techniques and better ways of growing our, growing our crops, growing our animals. These are modern systems of farming. So these farmers need to be educated, improved varieties of our crops, chemicals that are help, can, can help to eradicate pests, machines that can carry out various farm activities, tillage practices. They need to be informed on this. And um, the only way to get this achieved is through the extension service where the farmers can be extension officers who can help take this information from the research institute to the farmers. And government should provide loans to enable farmers to purchase farm machines. Now, we've, it's categorically stated that we know from based on what I've told you previously, uh, our machines, farm machines are expensive. They are produced or developed in the Western world or Europe. Most of them are not developed in, Ni in, West, in Nigeria or West Africa, and they're expensive. So the farmers are usually poor and can't afford these machines. So in order to encourage them, one of the ways is by providing loans. These loans will help the farmers or enable them to purchase some of these farm machines. Land tenure system is also another problem or another means by which we can improve our culture through mechanization. Because the land tenure system has to do with the system of ownership of land in West Africa. We have different systems of ownership. We have by inheritance, we have by rent, we have by tenants at the will of government, we have by purchase or freehold. These are different land tenure systems. But what the prevailing land tenure system in West Africa is land tenure by inheritance, where land is passed from parent to offspring. And usually, such families are of a large size. And so these lands have to be shared among the members of the family, making the size of the land small. So this can also affect ownership or agricultural mechanization. So the land tenure system needs to be reviewed so that farmers will be able to acquire large hectares of land. And this is achievable through the land use decree, which has, was implemented by the military government in 1979. And this has its features. And one of the features there is to make acquisition of land easy for farmers, helping them to acquire large hectares of land for agriculture. Now, simple and less expensive machines should be developed. When machines are too complex, too advanced and sophisticated, you find that that could also make it difficult for the um, farmers to operate. It makes it difficult for them to maintain. It also makes it difficult for them to purchase because they are too sophisticated. So one of the ways of improving agricultural agriculture through mechanization is to produce simple or to develop simple and less expensive machines. Farmers should form cooperative societies to enable them to pull their resources together to buy farm machines. Now, cooperative societies is um, an organization formed by a group of people who have common interests, common goals, common purpose, who come together, pull their resources to 
achieve some success or progress for their own good. So this, when farmers form cooperative societies, they're able to pull their resources together and buy these machines, which are expensive. So the burden of purchasing it as an individual farmer is taken care of. They rather purchase it as a group of people and that could help them get involved, on, involved in mechanized agriculture. Now the government should establish agricultural engineering schools. These schools can help to train personnel and also to fabricate some simple farm machines. So when these schools are established, engin agricultural engineering schools are established by the government, personnel can easily be trained. They don't need to leave the go out of the country to get trained. They can be trained locally within the country on the uh, machines that have been developed locally. So that's another way of improving our culture through mechanization. Okay, so far we've talked about uh, the prospects of agricultural mechanization. So, but in this lesson, let's look at so far what we've discussed. We said the reasons why agriculture has not been fully mechanized in West Africa, and we said some of the reasons is um, include small farm holdings the prevailing farming system, that's the land tenure system, which, which is especially by inheritance has also been a factor why agriculture has not been fully mechanized. Lack of access roads, the cost of the machines, machines are expensive and this has led to the reason why agriculture has not been fully mechanized. Then the unavailability of the machine spare parts because they are usually not manufactured or developed in Africa or West Africa they are developed in the Western world, and so the spare parts are also not available. We also highlighted the possible ways of improving agriculture through mechanization. So this involves educating the farmers, getting them to know modern means of farming, better um, equipments of farm machinery that can be used. Also providing loans for the farmer, the government should help provide loans so that the farmers can purchase some of these equipments or machines. Also reviewing the land tenure system, this helps to make sure that more land is made available for the farmers so that they can get involved in mechanized agriculture. Then we also talked about fabricating simple and less expensive machines that can be easily operated and can be easily purchased. So let's take a look at this question. This question says, mechanization is difficult to practice where the A, land is fragmented, that means broken down into pieces, B, farmer is wealthy, C, farm holding is large, D, soil fertility is low. So remember, mechanization is difficult to practice where land is fragmented that's the answer the answer is a where land is fragmented that's broken down into smaller pieces it's difficult to carry out mechanization because the size of the land is too small and mechanization is usually carried out where there's a large um, area of the large area of land and the land tenure system in west africa is responsible for this problem so mechanization is difficult to practice where the land is fragmented the answer is a this question says, farm mechanization does not A, involve the use of motorized equipment, B, require much capital, C, lead to unemployment, D, involve the use of only heavy machines. Now, farm mechanization involves motorized equipment, equipment that are powered by fuel or electricity. It requires much capital. So it does require much capital. It also leads to unemployment because of displacement of workers. That's one of the disadvantages of problems of mechanization. It leads to displacement of workers, which leads to unemployment. But the, answer, the D option says it involves the use of only heavy machines. Farm mechanization does not involve the use of only heavy machines. We have some machines that are light and simple. So the answer is D. It does not involve the use of only heavy machines, but it uses, it was the use of heavy machines, but that clause only 
is not correct. So farm mechanization does not involve the use of only heavy machines. This question says mechanization in West Africa is limited by the following, by the following, except, I take it again, mechanization in West Africa is limited by the following, except, A, the size of farm holding, B, technical know-how, C, capital, D, labor. Now, starting with A, size of farm holding, Mechanization is limited because in Afri West Africa, the size of farm holding is usually small. That limits mechanization. Then technical know-how. They usually don't have the knowledge farmers, on how to operate these machines. So it's also limited by technical know-how. Capital is also limited by capital because the farmers are usually poor and can't afford these machines. But for labor, the answer is D. Labor does not limit mechanization in West Africa. So D is the answer. Thank <laughs> you.